This is the second video on differentiation part one. Um, we're looking at higher maths revision for the prelims or for your uh, final exam. So what I'm covering here is questions three and four. And questions three and four are to do with uh, rate of change. So I'll calculate the rate of change of this function here at x equals two. Right, so let's go ahead. This is in a, a form that I can just go and differentiate. So whenever you see rate of change, you should be thinking about differentiation. Okay, so let's go and differentiate that right away. So that's going to be 3x squared. That's going to be minus 4x. What I'm now going to do is substitute the 2 into this uh, function. So f dash 2. And what we're going to do is just put the 2 in wherever we see x. What I'll then do is I'll multiply these parts out. So I'm going to do that there first. So that's going to give me 4. 4 times 3 is going to give me 12. 12 minus 8 will give me an answer of 4. So the rate of change is 4. For part B. Right, so this is in a form that I need to uh, multiply out. So I'm going to multiply this bracket out by FOIL. And then, once I differentiate it, I'm going to um, substitute t uh, is equal to minus 1. Right, so multiply the brackets out by FOIL. So that's going to be 2t squared. That's going to be plus 3t. These two here are going to be minus 2t. And the last stair will be minus 3. What I'll do is I'll gather together the middle terms. So that'll give me plus t minus 3. Still to uh, differentiate it, remember it's rate of change I'm trying to work out. So the rate of change, h dash t, is going to be equal to, wait a minute, there's a squared that's still there. Okay, that's from the top. Right, so that's going to be 4t, and that's going to be plus 1. And in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the, the minus 1 in here. So I've got a minus 1 going in. So 4 times minus 1 plus 1, that should give me That'll be minus 3 as the rate of change. So the rate of change is similar to the gradient. Um, and from there, we, we're just going to work through uh, question 4. Question 4. Okay. So the amount of pressure P in pounds per square inch within a cylinder varies with time. Time is going to be in milliseconds. According to the formula, P of T is equal to 400T minus 50T squared. Right, so first thing we're going to do is calculate the rate of change. So I should be thinking differentiation. The, the rate of change of P when T equals 2. Okay then, so let's part, uh, do part A. Right, so I'll start with uh, the formula. Get that down here. 400T and that's minus 50T squared. Right, what we'll do first of all, this isn't a form where I can differentiate. So I'll just go straight ahead and I'll differentiate that. So that's going to give me 400 minus 100t. So that's uh, my uh, differentiated um, formula that I'm going to be working with. Right, so for part A, I've got to find out the rate of change. So this will be my rate of change here. And I'm going to be using t equals 2. So let's go for p dash 2. It's going to be equal to 400 minus 100 times 2. So what that's going to give me is 400 minus 200. So that gives me an answer of 200, okay? So, so that's going to be my, uh, my rate of change. So it's a positive number, so it will be increasing. Let's go for B. Right, so I have to find the same thing. How fast is P changing? So what is the rate of change of P again when T equals 4? Okay, so I've already got my uh, differentiated formula here. So I'll just use that one. So P dashed, and I'm going to substitute a 4 in. So that's 400 minus 100 times 4, which will give me 400 minus 400, which gives me 0. Okay, so it's not increasing and it's not decreasing. Let's go for C. Right, so I'm looking for a 5 to be substituted in. Okay, so that will be 400 minus 100 times 5. That will give me 400 minus 500. And that should give me an answer of minus 100. Okay, so positive number increasing, uh, neither increasing or decreasing, and a negative number here is going to tell me that the pressure is decreasing. So I have to comment on it, so the pressure is decreasing. Okay, and that'll be 
with questions three and four completed. So, main things to remember, when you see rate of change, you need to start thinking about differentiation, differentiate, and generally you'll substitute a value in to work out um, what the rate of change is. Okay, so next video will be question question five on the equation of a tangent to a curve. So good luck with uh, the uh, rate of change questions.